Hey everybody, Steve Nixon again with FreeJazzLessons.com. Glad you guys can join me today. All right, in today's lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at some major concepts, things you can play over a major chord. Uh, a lot of people know what to do when they play over the two five, but when you have to hang on the one chord for a while, what do you do? What do you play over it? So I'm gonna step over to the piano in just a second, but just as a reminder, uh, this lesson will be notated and whole kinds of extra tips will be written on freejazzlessons.com. I will put the URL right below this video. All right, let's get to learning, thank you. All right, so we're gonna take a look at a couple major seven ideas right now that you can add in your playing right away. Um, we're gonna be playing over an F major seven chord. Um, I'm gonna use this voicing in my left hand. So this is an F major seven chord, okay? Uh, here are the ideas, okay? Here's number one. Again. Again. Okay, so here are the notes. A, E, G, E, F, A, C, E, G, G flat, F, E, C. So it's okay, and the theory is the third of the chord, seventh of the chord, ninth of the chord, seventh of the chord, and we're going up the arpeggio here. F, which is the root, A, which is the third, C, which is the fifth, E, which is the seventh. Okay, so we have. Okay, then we do this little triplet thing here. G, which is the ninth, flat nine, which is passing note. Okay, to the root, okay. Major seventh, which is E, and then C, which is our fifth, all right? So you'll see that almost all these notes are chord tones. It's a great way of soloing over a major chord is just sort of arpeggiating up and down with occasionally sort of a chromatic passing note, okay? All right, so I'll show you guys real quickly just sort of how to, how to throw this maybe in context of another two five lick, so. again. All right, so the best way to use this idea, okay, there's two processes, there's two things I want you to be thinking about. First of all, when you're playing from your five chord, okay, or really any chord that's connecting into this F major seven, or just any major seven chord. When A is your target note on beat one, this is how you can connect that lick. So if I was to go. See how I connected that right in there and then I can start the lick. Okay. So that's the first thing you wanna be thinking about. The second thing is really you could grab even little pieces of this lick, okay? Okay, even just that right there, that's a little piece of vocabulary that you can throw into other things. So if I go. Okay, so there it is there. How about. Okay, so you saw I throw it in everywhere. So grab these little pieces you can, the lick by itself is just a great lick, but if you just take the little nuggets of information from each lick, you can throw them in all over your playing, okay? So you can connect them into any major seven ideas you already have. All right, um, I'll be notating the lick as per usual and throwing it on freejazzlessons.com. Please make sure you stop by the site. All right, see you there. Happy practicing.